Hello guys, I'm here with you today to show you one of my sketchbooks from the past few months. And before I dive right in, I guess the reason why I'm showing only one of the few sketchbooks I've done over the past six months, and the reason why overall I haven't been showing all of my sketchbooks like I used to on this channel, is that recently I found that my work in my sketchbooks was becoming limited because I was starting to become too much of a perfectionist and I was worried about what my sketchbook would look like once I made a video about it. And overall, I just stopped exploring and pushing my limits and that's the whole point of a sketchbook. So long story short, that's the reason why I'm not showing all of my sketchbooks anymore. But on the other hand, I know how much you guys like looking at my sketchbook videos and also, I understand that a sketchbook is kind of like a snapshot of where my growth is as an artist at this point right now. So I'm sure in the future, I will greatly appreciate having some videos of my older sketchbooks to look at and to laugh at. So with that, I guess let's jump into it. So this first page is uh, just some Mob Psycho 100 fan art because it's one of my favorite shows of like all time and I highly recommend it. The animation in it is so good. It's just magnificent. Um, yeah, here I was just doing kind of like some watercolor exploration and I was on a road trip at the time. So I was just kind of like sketching in the car, but it was a bit tricky to figure out how to make my lines less shaky. Um, this is one of my characters. It's an alien baseball player. Uh, haven't really figured out the story for them fully yet, but it's kind of taking shape in my head. This page is just because sometimes my cat likes to be a smartass and climb all over my sketchbook and my keyboard and generally prevent me from doing any work, so I was feeling particularly frustrated that day. Here I was having a lot of fun just capturing the texture of birch. I love birch and birch bark and the way that fungi grow on tree trunks. It's just super fascinating to me. Um, yeah, so here I was just doing some watercolor kind of exploration stuff with the sky and a lake. Here is just more miscellaneous sketches. Ooh, yeah, these pages got beat up pretty bad. I don't know if you can see it all right, but I was using just this graphite pencil that smudged really easily, so. But, I mean, it's fine. I know what they looked like originally, I guess. Uh, I saw this random angsty preteen at a coffee shop, and he just struck me is an interesting character. Nothing really interesting there. Uh, my mom has a friend which I can only describe as a classic wine mom character. Some more watercolor experimentation and a little bit of mob psycho in the corner down there. And then I also drew this sketch of a kitchen in this one place I was at, I just thought it was kind of cozy and homey and it appealed to me. Here uh, I had a little girl draw something for me and it's really kind of inspiring to look at it and when I was working in the other parts of my sketchbook I would kind of like turn back to this and I remember her drawing and just how effortless it was to her and how unconcerned she was with how good the drawing was. The whole process was just fascinating to her. And so I really want to kind of tap into that mentality too. Some more watercolor. It was during the sunset. So I loved the colors. Um, this is from Yuri on Ice. I love that anime. I'm really into sports anime in general. Like I'm super obvious about it, okay? I know, I know I'm a gigantic nerd, but it's just a fun way to take my mind off of things. 
and just I think artists and athletes are kind of very similar and the sensation of striving for something more right but then again you could argue anybody who's passionate in any field feels that way oh I was in a cafe and I had fun looking at the people there and there was this one guy and he didn't have painted nails and he looked like a really typical bro, but in my head I imagined what it would be like if he did have painted nails and what kind of a person that would be. And then I also saw this kind of prissy leopard print lady, so I drew her as well. I don't think you can see her heels, but yeah. Ugh, the camera angle is a bit awkward right now, but I'm doing the best I can, I swear. So here I started doing film idea development. Uh, you guys may or may not know, but currently I am doing this mentorship at Puny Entertainment Studio in St. Paul. Um, basically what happened was I emailed the director and asked if he would talk to me, and he said yes. And I came and I asked him about the work they do, and what they do is they make a cartoon called Danger and Eggs for Amazon Prime, and it's really good. You should totally check it out. But, long story short, uh, he agreed to help guide me through making my own animated film. So this is the part where I was starting to sketch out ideas for him, and I had to make a lot of different finished drawings to present to the directors there, and they offered critique, and it was overall really positive, and I'm still going there, and I'm still doing a bunch of work. So, if you guys have noticed, I haven't been posting that much on Tumblr anymore. I'm trying my best. It's a bit hard to draw for both business and pleasure, so to speak. Uh, I returned to the prissy leopard print lady, but I stylized her this time. And I'm quite happy with how it turned out, actually. And here it's some more film idea exploration. Here I was just writing down my different ideas, and here I was messing around with some character designs. I really love trees. I honestly think that in the future I'll probably end up making a lot of films inspired by trees and nature and the idea of kind of spirits living within them. This page turned out quite interesting because I like the blue colored pencil with the texture of the red marker. I just think it looks pretty cool, so. Um, it's, I kind of really like the simplicity of this tree right here. It's so strange, like the amount of lines here is so minimal, but this tree is probably one of my favorite drawings in this sketchbook, so I quite like to look at it. Here it's just more sketches. Yep. People always ask me about the post-it notes. The post-it notes are just kind of a way for me to have a do-over if I don't like how a drawing is going. And I like the pop of color it adds to my sketchbooks. <laughs> yep, here is more evidence of my sports anime weebness. I swear it's not on purpose. I didn't choose this life. It chose me. Um, yeah, just some more people drawings, and here I was thinking again about designing environments and trying to create like an interesting combination of shapes. I don't know if you can really tell, but it's supposed to be like a cabin in a forest. So that's what I was aiming for. Some more film sketch developments. So here I was kind of like thumbnailing some abstract animation. Here I really went all in on watercolors. I think I posted this on my Tumblr, so you might have seen it already. And I was just really trying to come up with interesting combinations. And again, here, just trying to figure out some more color studies. I had an idea for this scorpion monster for one of my story ideas originally. I kind of quite like how this sketch turned out. Um, Again, more trees because I just can't stay away. Uh, it's just so fun to stylize them. Okay, Meowth is my favorite Pokemon 
It is undisputable. Basically, on Pokemon Go, if I see a Meowth anywhere, I have to catch it. It doesn't matter what CP it is, okay? I will hunt it down. Okay, so this was a huge learning curve for me in terms of I was basically figuring out how to make layouts. Because for most of my life, I've been sketching in a sketchbook with no real rigid boundaries. Like, I didn't really perceive the page as a full composition. So learning to have a set rectangle in which I could arrange my elements was something totally new for me. And it took me quite a bit of work to even start to figure out what a good composition looks like. And I'm still learning quite a bit. Here I was just sketching a cat and experimenting with texture. And here is like some kind of fashion drawing. I don't really like that page. Let's skip that page. Yep, more thumbnails. Uh, I've been just in general trying to figure out different ways of stylizing human faces. But also, I've been spending a lot of time taking the train now because I live out in the Minnesota suburbs. So getting to St. Paul for my mentorship takes quite a long trip by train. It's about an hour. So I get a lot of time to sketch people. Uh, this is from my brain though. I suddenly got really into fur coats. And also I'm really lucky my brother went to Seattle and he brought back this wonderful bottle of ink. So I've been really happy to experiment with that. And yep, here's more of that. I kind of like, uh, this is my old space fox lady character. But I kind of wanted to experiment with her design more and try to maybe make her more buff and captain-like, for lack of a better word. Yep, just some more doodles. Yeah, here I was drawing people at the studio just because I like to experiment with their face shapes. I'm not really sure what I was going with there just kind of experimenting uh i saw this just pre i saw this pretty person on twitter and i wanted to draw her and i also recently got a set of gouache paints that was really lovely so i wanted a chance to use those and then down in the corner some yuri on ice fan art here i discovered i really liked this uh red and green hair color combination i'm definitely gonna be using that i think more in the future and here I also like this kind of brown-reddish combination with the purple. Yep. More kind of train doodles and random stuff. Again, this is the gouache that I recently got and I just love it so much. It's basically like watercolor, but even more pigmented. I wish it wasn't so ridiculously expensive though. I could never justify buying it for myself. It only works if other people buy it for me. Um, yep. Oh, I started watching this uh, anime about making anime and for anybody interested in the reality of producing an animated feature, uh, this show, Shiro Bako, is actually pretty good at capturing it, and it follows the life of a production assistant. And it's not the most thrilling thing, but again, for me, it was really exciting because animation is something I'm so invested in. So if you're the kind of person that's curious about how studios balance crazy schedules and stuff like that, and yeah, you should check it out. Um... Just some more sketches. I kind of wish that corded phones would come back. There's just something kind of cute about them that a cell phone doesn't have. A cell phone is too sleek, not very dorky, so to speak. Okay, so this was me remembering how much I love the film Akira. So I was drawing Kaneda. I love his jacket. I love it to death. I wish I could own a leather jacket half as cool as his. But yeah. Um, 
Yep, yep. I was using a, an envelope as a palette for my gouache. And then I kind of thought maybe I could draw something out of it. Kind of ended up like this weird corgi thing. Um, but yeah, that's the end of this sketchbook, guys.